Starting out, here we go with Cathay, of all things, versus Bretonia. Oh, you guys know this isn't going to be me fighting this one. And what do we got? A land battle. Teamer versus Tag. Let's get going. Already the Grand Cannon's coming in, firing into the Grail Reliquy, I want to say. And yeah, this is, uh, Tag is not very familiar with Cathay, but Teamer's familiar with all factions. He's a, ma he's a jack of all trades, master of none. And already with his, let's see, uh, Teamer's caster being the life one, and he's got the paladin on the Hippogriff Knight. And uh, this is a pretty standard formation, pretty standard tactics. Got some peasant horsemen on tag side, who's playing Cathay, hiding them in the forest. Longbow riders, demigriff knights, iron hail gunners, jade warriors, peasant horsemen, peasant bowmen, peasant, 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 all the peasants in the world. And already the gunshots are getting in, and that front line's not gonna matter too long. And not really the particularly good targeting. I don't know what uh, Tag was thinking. Shooting at the peasant mobs and not focusing down these bowmen in the back with the cannon. Very peculiar choices. Very weird. But hey, if he rocks that front line though, he can easily get to the back line. So I guess that's a trade off. And these, yeah, the peasant. <laughs> The peasant mobs are just disappearing, so yeah, maybe maybe it was the right call. I'm not sure. My experience dealing with these peasants has been pretty pretty easy, and be no surprise, we don't like to pick super overpowered builds and or units here. That's why you're not seeing any of the crazy Grail Knights or anything from Teamer, especially seeing as how Tag wasn't very aware of how to use Cathay. And there we go, Llama Riders trying to fight off, or try to at least dodge those Demigriffs dropping to the ground. Ancestral Warriors coming in, summoned. Yeah, let's look at this. Uh, not too bad so far, not too bad. Hippogriff Knights are doing a little bit of a dance right now. Charging in with those Llamas, especially with the RR variant. It's not bad background you can see a lot of tag stuff's getting taken out by those bowmen they really need to be taken care of right now poor shot from that great can brand cannon Didn't say great cannon and the long ones versus the demis the demis got it man that anti-large it hurts what's this what's this ability uh, i don't know what the hell that was that must have been uh well Teamer brought in a life cleric, so that must have been his lord's ability. And I don't think that was Cathay, because Cathay doesn't have anything with that kind of thing. So that must have been the Bretonia lord. And just look at this. Look at these boys just going at it. Man, those longer riders just drop like flies. Oh, I see a Dweller's Blow coming in. Yeah, Dweller's Blow? Yep. Slowing down those Jade Warriors, getting as much as he can. I think uh, Teeper brought in a number of foot squires too to come deal with these, or battle pilgrims to come deal with a lot of this jade nonsense, which makes sense. Perfect result. To deal with these boys. It looks like those peasant horsemen are cleaning up back there. Jade warriors with halberds helping out. So, yeah. It's pretty evenly contested so far. It's hard to tell, though, who's going to win this, but, uh. If Tag can just rule, th or rule, if he can run through the rest of his infantry line with all those peasant horsemen, I think he's got it. It's going to be tough for even these Pegasus, or Pegasus, these uh, Hippogriff Knights to really deal with the rest of them. Sorry about that, I just got a text. Yeah, it's really difficult for these boys to deal with these, uh, the rest of this infantry with how low their HP is and how many models they have. And how many halberd units he has. And look at this. Even the iron hail gunners are still alive. His peasant... I mean, if all he's got is peasants, though. And I mean, referring to Teemer. Teemer's got peasant mobs. This could be rough. He could take out a lot if Tag doesn't pay attention, though. And he's got those ancestral boys coming into the back of those dragon... Uh, those look like dragons. Celestial Dragon Guard, yeah. 
No, those aren't Celestial Dragon Guard. Those are just Spearmen from the from Tiber's side. Bretonians. Yeah. That and Jade Wars. I know he's got some Celestial Dragon Guard hiding around here somewhere. Tag does. They might be fighting off the Battle Pilgrims right now. No, it's just more Jade Warriors. Alberic just come down, dealing with these boys. And he's got another one of those abilities coming down. That's a perfect line for it. Does he get it? Yep. Yeah. Is that a Dweller's Blow 2 coming on top of him? It might be overkill. No, that's Talons. That's from the Cathay Lord. And it catches a few models, but it's... Uh, he barely just got away. His Hippogriff Knights barely just lived. Actually, I think he did more damage to his own units than the Hippogriff Knights. The question is, how are you going to deal with these? How are you going to deal with this? Humor's... I think he's only got those foot squares right now. The rest of these jade warriors are still fresh. Yeah, just foot squares. It's gonna be tough. Uh, he's gonna really have to pick his battles, pick them well, and he tries to do tactics like that where he traps units around the Lord and just blast them with a heavy hit of spell, like Dweller's Blow right there. At least I got a couple models and did some damage rather than getting nothing at all. Good eye on Tag though, dodging that shit. Well done. The Grey Relic will be still alive, but I don't know how much that matters when you got all this nonsense. It's tough. It's a real nail-biter. I can't really tell who's got it so far. A couple charges in from the Demigriff Knights, but that's also really dangerous. Because these boys can still knock him out. Especially when he has, what, four or five models left? You better heal them up. There he goes. Look, gonna move. Yeah, with the healing taken into account, I think... Teeper might have this. He really needs to start healing them up, though. I don't think he took, uh, what is it? Uh, he's got Dweller's Blow, and he's got the other one. Uh, the other healing spell. The one that only lasts, like, five, seven seconds. Not the good one. <laughs> regrowth, that's the one. He didn't take Regrowth. I never take the other one. The light, regrowth, regrowth Light, as I call it. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, a lot of Teeper's forces have dispersed, and there's not much left. He's really gonna have to haul this one. Although, he could fear off a lot of Tag's units, though. They are also low in model counts, leadership, battered and destroyed, morally destabilized. It is tough to say. Ooh, the Zion Hair Gunners need to go. He's got a good charging with those Demigriffs right there. Is that a heal? What the hell just happened? He got rid of two with one. He got rid of two stones with one bird. <laughs> uh, and they're still alive. Wow. Stemper are real champs. Here he comes with another fat heal from the life cleric. Didn't dive bomb. Nope, there he goes now. Right on top of those celestial dragon guard. That's where they are. Yeah. If I hippogriffs charge in along with his lord, that might just send them packing. Man, look at those stats. 50 melee attack, magical, 99 speed, 55 charge, 135 damage. I think they got, what, 32 models? 48 models? Jeez. Those are some scary knights. In the background, you can still see some of uh, the foot squires and spearmen over there. Teamer's got... I don't know if he's going to need them. Well, he probably will need them. I mean, just look at this. Ooh. Now, if Teamer... Oh. But his lord is still strong. And it's going to be tough for Tag to actually fight his lord. Especially with all those heals that gone down. Damn, his lord's almost back at full HP. Holy shit. It might, yeah, it looks like Teamer's going to win this one. I'm not just saying that because the green bar up top. Because <laughs> even if he, even if Tag takes out the rest of Teamer's units, the Foot Squires, the Life of Cleric, or Cleric. Oh, uh, sorry, that's 5e for you folks. The Life Caster. It's still, I don't know if he's got enough punch to deal with these cycle charges coming in. With each cycle charge, that's like, what, 16 to 30 damage, maybe more, in terms of leadership. And those foot squires are back, yeah. Foot squires will fight. Anti-large and anti-infantry. Those bastards. 70 armor, not bad. Although their stats are comparable to, like, most infantry. 20, 30, 34, really? Oh, no, that's the Jade Warriors. <clears throat> Yep, and it looks like this is going to be Teamer's game. Uh, unfortunate. 
gonna be called soon here. There's just so much moral uh, leadership debuffs going on and destruction. And the tag lord's just not gonna be able to put up a fight. So yeah, well done, teamer. GG's tag. GG's teamer. It's gonna wrap up soon here. <coughs> uh, all right, let's go look at the value though. Look at some value. Look at some value. Looking at the value. Wow, this lord did pretty solid. Yup, knights did pretty good, pretty good. Nuts. No surprise there. <laughs> knights are actually good now, or maybe a little overtuned for Bretonia. Not bad. Eh. Yeah, most of his value came from his knights. No surprise there. But his bowmen did, I think, the most important work, which is getting rid of those uh, hail gunners and cannon early. Yeah, I hope you guys liked that. Like, sub, follow me on Twitter. Get notifications of streams coming up and future videos. And yeah, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.